Hi everyone! Today we're going to make the fourth level of our Super Mario game. In this video, we are going to code the mushroom that will make our Mario grow and we will also code how it shrinks when it touches Goomba. So if you're ready, let's get started. Before we get started, in our Mario, we're gonna fix a small thing that is gonna make our big Mario move more smoothly. So this touching green color is gonna be substituted by touching ground. Touching ground, which is gonna be a variable. I'm gonna put it here with touching ground equals one. Let's say that one is yes. And I'm going to pass this here also. Okay. And uh, here in the hitbox, in the gravity, if we are touching green, we are going to set touching ground to 1, which is yes. And if not, this. You will see that it works the same. But it's going to make, as I said, our big Mario move more smoothly. We're going to import the sprites from my from my other project. You know that I have shared the link to the project in the description of the video. I already have those sprites in my backpack. So here I have my big Mario that I'm gonna hide for the moment and the mushroom which is gonna be hidden as well for the moment. So let's begin creating here more or less over here, we're gonna create um, a small box that is gonna give us the mushroom when we hit it. So um, let's paint a sprite here. I'm gonna copy this, copy, go to the sprite and paste it. But I'm gonna make it a bit thinner. There you go. Okay, let's select everything and center it, make sure it is centered. And we'll later uh, place it in the correct uh, part of the, of the game. And I'm going to duplicate because it is going to have two costumes. In this first costume, it's gonna have a question mark. It could have this color. I'm gonna make it a bit larger. Okay, I like it there. And let's call it, for example, Mushroom Box. How do we place this? Well, that's something we have done several times. If you remember, when we start the game in Hitbox, I select here 0. And now to place it... Oh, so they're good to jump. I'm gonna put it um, maybe over here. Okay? So, to have it here, that position has to be x392, not the, the negative one. So, I'm going to pass the program from ground to my mushroom box, which is here. And in mushroom box, I'm going to get rid of this, because it's unnecessary. We will write this. 392 x392 392 and that's going to start not when it starts as a clone but when we click on the green flag okay let's see what it looks like okay well we have to modify also these numbers which are negative 240 and 240 so that it hides when it's out of the screen. Yeah, but it's perfect. Okay, now we're gonna make the mushroom pop up when we hit the bottom part of the box. How do we do that? First of all, we're gonna go to the box. Well, no, we're gonna go to a hit box. And here in the hit box, we're going to do the following. In the replace app, 
replace y up that we have, we're going to add a condition here that will be if we are touching the box, I'm going to put an end. If we are touching the mushroom box and the mushroom box has costume number one, so it has the, the question mark, and that's done this way. Number one, sensing this fantastic block, mushroom box, costume number. So if we touch mushroom box and it has this costume number and we touch mushroom box when we are moving up, we are gonna broadcast mushroom. And mushroom, when it receives mushroom, it will show and we're going to copy the same program we have here. Let's see. If I can't pass it, I'm going to do this. Backpack, mushroom, and there we go. And now delete here. And let's see. Oops, here in mushroom, I forgot to put this here. Okay, there we go, touch, perfect, and now we have to code the interaction with the mushroom, which is very simple. Basically, in the mushroom, if touching hitbox, we are going to broadcast grow we're gonna hide the mushroom and we're going to stop this script. And now, what's gonna happen when we touch mushroom? First of all, we have to show Big Mario, hide the small Mario and change the size of the hitbox. So several things. First of all, uh, let's adjust in the hitbox its size in a different costume. This second costume is going to be for the big Mario. So, um, let's put it here. And let's change its size. Okay, that's more or less correct. So, in Hitbox, when we start the game, we're going to switch costume here, for example, to costume one. But we will put when I receive grow switch costume to costume two. And we can now put that when I receive shrink, which is a message that we, we will need later, shrink switch costume to costume one and it means that in Mario these programs are going to get started when receiving shrink and well obviously you can put that when we click on the green flag we broadcast shrink Okay, so now let's pass the program to this Mario. Basically, I'm going to copy everything we have here. I'm gonna pass it there. Poof. Let's see if I can do something to fix it. Okay, big Mario, big Mario. When I receive game over, it's not necessary because when big Mario touches Goomba, we're not going to broadcast game over. We're going to shrink. Uh, Big Mario, so we need, we don't need that. And this one. Now in Big Mario we have to adjust a few things. Because this is going to start when receiving grow. The same with this. And the name of the um, costumes is different. Jump, here is big jump. Stand is big stand. Jump, big jump. 
and walk one is B big W um, one. And um, probably that part will be already working. Let's see. Well, um, we have to hide this Mario when receiving shrink. Oh, and also, yeah, we can do this. Uh, in big Mario, when I receive shrink, we're going to hide and also we're going to stop other scripts in sprites and in the case of the big mar um, sorry the small mario or just mario it is going to do the same when receiving um grow we're going to hide it and stop other scripts in sprite let's see Ooh, what's the mushroom doing there mushroom oh yes we need when green flag clicked hide well as you see when trying the game you usually spot a few errors or mistakes that we have to fix okay that's perfect oops one error this should um switch costume that's here um yep when i receive mushroom switch costume to costume 2 and when green flag clicked switch costume to costume 1 let's see now okay okay but something's wrong with the hitbox or yeah with mario's sprites look if i go to big mario in costumes Probably they are not completely centered. Yeah. And maybe the hitbox, the big one that we have made, is not centered either. So let's center it. Yeah, look. Center is here. All right. Now it should be working. Perfect. So now we need to code the interaction with Goomba. To do so here in Hitbox, um, we have a part which is this. If touching Goomba 1 or touching Goomba 2, we have to modify this. We have to change this so that Mario shrinks if it is big when touches Goomba, but it dies if it touches Goomba when it's small. And also, when it's big and touches Goomba, we need a, some time in which it will be blinking and Goomba cannot do anything to us. Let's see if we can configure that. First of all, in variables, we need the blinking variable. And if we are touching Goomba 1 uh, or Goomba 2 and our variable, so if variable blinking is zero let's see no so when it's not blinking when it's i mean playing normally if we touch them if we have jumped and we are moving down we're going to squish goomba but if not if we're walking now we need another condition because if the costume of our hitbox so if costume number is number two so if mario is big we are not going to broadcast game over we will broadcast it if costume number is number one if costume number is number two we will broadcast shrink no not shrink we will broadcast blink first of all and we will set blinking to one now let's go to Big Mario and let's say when I receive blink, we're going to create the blink effect, which is going to be something like set brightness to 40, wait something like 0 0.2 seconds, then set brightness, brightness to 0, wait and repeat this for example 5 times. And after that, we're going to set blinking to zero again and we're going to broadcast shrink and probably 
uh, when green flag clicked, we should um, clear graphic effects just in case. And let's see if I haven't forgotten anything. Let's go. I'm gonna go to the other one. Let's touch it. Perfect. Now it can't hit me again. And if I touch it again, game over. By the way, don't forget to change in the coins this, if touching hitbox. Because if we have Mario, your big Mario won't be able to collect coins. So this is the end of this part of the tutorial, guys. I hope you liked it. I enjoyed myself a lot trying to find a way to make this code as simple as possible. So now it's your turn, put it into practice, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao!